All right, good morning, everybody. David E. Taylor, you're a piece of shit, man. And today, guys, what I'm going to talk about is the complexity of David's scam. How complex it is. What we're talking here, guys, is like, a mul think of a multi-level marketing scheme, but think of a multi-level marketing scheme on a multi-level marketing scheme on a multi-level marketing scheme. Think of it like of an exponential <clears throat> marketing scheme with David. So he's got JMMI, Kingdom of God Global Church. He's already be bankrupted Resurrection Media Ministries International. I'm talking to one of the channel members yesterday, Jake. I think this is Jake. I'm pretty sure it was. It's almost like David has created a bunch of shell companies, just a bunch of false-ass companies. Let's see. Okay, so let's see. The, we were doing research yesterday, guys. Me and Jake were, we were talking about some of the filings, all the documents that <clears throat> basically are just... If you dig up the paper trail, guys, the scam is there. The scam is there. If you dig up the paper trail, and it seems that's... It, it, it's almost as, as if the IRS, the interstate agencies, haven't touched this guy and started digging into his scam. So let's see, and and this guy Jake, he's he's part of the channel. And I've spoke with him numerous times, and he's he's on his shit, man. He's been listening to the real real tax attorney Jay, uh, pocket watching. Let's see. During Michelle's deposition, she refers to a tax firm, Clay and Associates, as a tax attorney. So I looked up Clay and Associates just to see if it's a shady group. Clay and Associates was dissolved as an LLC in two thousand three, which, according to Ask Michelle, was before her time. Just another doubt. So based on the 2017 tax return, <clears throat> Siri just fucking fucked with me. <clears throat> Stand by. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Based on the 2017 return, JMMI made about four million that year. Only gave at less than two percent. Actually, that year is like one point seven percent. So what I'm trying to figure out, guys. Me and Jake here talking for the last couple of days. <clears throat> where is all the money going? Where is it coming from? So who, what, when, where, why, and how? We know who's giving him the money. We know who's spending it. We know for the most part where where it's being transferred to. We know he's giving it through Cash App, Zelle, PayPal, um, Apple Pay, fucking Bitcoin. Like he's taking all forms of payments now. So we know the mo he's got to have some form... David's going to want to have access to that money, right? So he's not just going to let it sit there in Cash App and PayPal and Zelle and all this other shit. He's going to transfer it into a bank account somewhere. And this is where the this is where the the courts are trying to f find out what's on those bank records because David's claiming to be a church, right? Damn the complexity. Okay, it makes my head fucking spin thinking about how many fucking scams David is running, man. <clears throat> The big issue that is glaring in JMMI or KOGGC is that they are, is that they are just a five hundred one c three. They can invest and they can make profit off that. Let's say they open a thrift store, they show they have to show that every penny of that profit was now used one hundred percent for the mission of the five hundred one c three. Absolutely right. Like they can't, you can't take a non profit and turn it into a for profit, <clears throat> which is exactly what Kenneth Copeland is doing. Okay, that's how Kenneth Copeland made his fucking millions. Is he took his non for profit right. He took his non-for-profit church and started buying up land, cattle, shit like that in Texas, right? So he turned his non-for-profit into a for-profit, into a for-profit business. So he made, that's what Kenneth Copeland did, which is illegal as fuck, right? That's how Kenneth Copeland did his shit. Let's assume David E. Taylor doesn't invest a penny, only uses a regular bank account getting 2% off their money. <clears throat> The judge is after the bank records, no doubt. <coughs> now, I'm going to read what Jake said, too, because he, he had a lot of good points. And they're, they're not reporting their assets. <clears throat> That's what we were talking about. 
So based on the 2017 tax return, GMMI made about $4 million, right? Okay, but GMMI no longer exists on paper, right? Because that, that tax ID number has basically been revoked. But yet he's got GMMI on the side of these fucking trailers now, right? But we're talking about that too, is that GMMI, it's not, I don't think GMMI is even listed as a church. It's listed as some like kind of fucking outreach program, like humanitarian mission or some shit like that, okay? So GMMI is not even technically listed as a church. Okay, so 2017, we only know he gave back like 1.5%, 1.6, okay? <clears throat> Either way, they are rich, cash rich, okay? This is a very good possibility, cash rich. Stuck in a bank or investment, okay? Gold or someplace hidden in assets. Real estate, like he's been buying up properties. That's where all David's money's hidden at, is in, in real estate. Vehicles, shit like that. I mean, <laughs> the David alone could eat $4 million in food a year, but that would be hard to do, especially when his staff is basically starving using food stamps. Yeah, so David, David has a volunteer staff, right? Then all the volunteer staff buy him this fucking... <laughs> these like lavish gifts and jets and Rolls Royces and Beamers and all this shit, but they don't even get paid. So how are they buying David these gifts? Okay, question to think about: How is a volunteer staff? You know, David and I, and you're talking about you know you need to get these trucks and shit fixed up, but yet you're throwing these big Fourth of July parties and having parties at your new mansion that you just bought cash. You know, why don't you use that cash that you just paid on that mansion, and use it for those trucks, man? Instead of sitting there begging like a fucking street bum, dude. Okay. <coughs> Let's see. I'm reading through everything we we're talking about. Let's see. I mean, the IRS, what they ultimately need to do on this place, the government needs to do a full blown forensic financial audit on this place 100 percent. i think they should do it on all fucking churches for that matter um it, and i'm also curious we were talking me and jake what michelle's w2 would look like if she even has one you know how is she claiming all this money you know i'm wondering if she even files her taxes There's so many address na address and name changes and filings with this with this entity. They did this on purpose. They what they did this on purpose. They created all these name changes and address changes on purpose to confuse the government when it came time to audit them. GMMI got pulled in 2019, okay? So their their 501c3 got pulled in 2019. Makes, and what we're talking about here is how many people gave to JMMI in 2019 still thinking that it was a valid a, uh, a valid entity at that time. But JMMI, they didn't file their taxes and last time they filed was 2017. So they had it pulled in 2019. There was a, a <clears throat> submission returned, rejected articles of amendment for a nonprofit corporation, corporate 53A. Submission returned or rejected 22 February 2021. There are a bunch of returns. There are a bunch of filings done. They were trying to, like, become a corporation. That's what they were trying to do. Kathleen Klein is now a board member. 8-8-2021. So she was just made a board member. Okay, so David's probably fucking sleeping with her most likely. Yeah, Jake, this is a paperwork nightmare. There's a mirror jam in my Michigan, same same players, different tax ID number. It's listed as a foreign nonprofit organization, shell company. So, David, you're creating shell companies to run your scam. Yep, to launder money. Shell companies look like companies on paper, but nothing inside. It's just an empty shell. It's just, just a, they file the paperwork. JM and my Michigan company number incorporation date 25 September 2019 about two years ago so maybe about the time right when they got their other one revoked they started this other one yeah you employ folks overseas you get them to work visas that's probably what you did with Makita it makes sense man ok 
Okay, good. Yeah, just the complexity of David's scam. Like, how long it would... Yeah, this is... Yeah, 2013, he claims to be paid 33000 but on JMMI 2013 taxes, it says they paid him 119 Why hasn't anybody fucking audited this sack of shit, man? If my taxes look like this, <laughs> you can bet your ass the IRS would be like, uh, we need to come look at your fucking taxes, man. There's something wrong here with your shit, but David's, David shit has scam written all over it, man, and they're just brushing it under the rug like it's nobody's fucking business, man. It's bullshit. So where did, where's the money going, guys? That's the question for the day. Where's the, where's the money going? Where's it coming from? Mm -hmm. The complexity. So we got Michelle, Kathleen in it, David's. Okay, so he's got the 2008 Victory Way Lane still. He still has the Victory Way Lane, the 2008 Victory Way Lane. He still has that listed as an address, but nobody's been living there for the last two years, probably three years now. Nobody's been living there. <clears throat> so you guys keep that in mind today. What's David, the, the complexity of his scam? Like think of it as, a, again, think of it as a multi-level marketing scheme, which it really is, but think of it as like, he's got fucking different different scams being run at the same time. KOGGC, JMMI. Um, <clears throat> me and the other channel followers were talking about, you know, it's a good chance he could possibly be tied up in some of the drug trade. You know, maybe he's, maybe David's just a little chess pawn, a little piss on, and a bigger, and something bigger. Just a thought. I'm gonna read some of your comments because you guys left some fucking funny ass comments. <laughs> JH, I figured it out. Oh my god. He reminds me of King Koopa from Mario and Nintendo games. He's got the same hunchback. He paces back and forth. He appears hungry, agitated, evil. And David is most likely hiding under a tail and all those pricey clothes. I knew he reminded me of some something or someone. <clears throat> yep, the possible residential center, St. Louis. You gotta love that they have about 30 people on Zoom and just double up the screens, yep. David, I was there the other night, hi. And now David's talking about building this 100,000 seat arena. Okay, David, Bible land in St. Louis? Yeah, okay. Where are you gonna get all that money from? Don't be, again, this is where David needs to do a cost justification report to find out if the money he's spending is gonna fucking make it. <sighs> David. You're not very smart, dude, okay? Like, this whole arena, dude, like, what you're talking about, building a 100,000-seat arena, it's bullshit, David. You didn't talk about getting a C-130 also? Like, that's not gonna happen, everybody. Don't give this guy your money. Don't do it. <clears throat> Let's see. Yeah, and he's, he was rolling his R's. He's like saying, miracles with the fucking R's and shit, David. Dude, get your own playbook, man. But yeah, thanks for letting that tumor fall off in the shower too, David. I wanted to let you know. That was a big one that fell off in the shower. Let's see. <laughs> the C-130, David? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, just to buy that plane, man. Come on, man. C-130, you're fucking way out of your league, dude. Let's see. Let's see your comments. You guys, David, David's really become a meme on the internet. See, buddy, thanks for exposing this con artist. Welcome, man. I'm going to keep on doing it, too. I'm not stopping with David, man. I'm already, I've already got some... I've already got some people on my list, man. I just got one of, uh... Check this sack of shit out. 
Um, one of my boys sent me this. I honestly believe this, that the reason why Jesus hadn't come is because people are not giving the way God told them to give. You see what I'm saying? I mean, when you understand it, you can speed up the time. I'm going to have people move according to the word of God. What is God saying to you? And Jesse do planets and all these assholes. If <clears throat> Standby. Um, I just got a really important email. I'm emailing this person back, and it had it's regarding David, actually. Okay, sorry. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. <clears throat> Let's see. Carrie's tech, will, will we look pregnant like David? Okay, so yeah. You guys saw that video of David talking about getting, like, David, that was probably by far one of your, your most psychotic rants I've ever heard, dude. You talking about Jesus getting people pregnant and shit, dude. That is beyond anything I've ever heard in any church, dude. But I'm not even religious, man. But what you said, dude, is very questionable. I don't want to get off topic today about where you're getting all the money and shit from, but David, to see you come unhinged like that and talk about Jesus impregnating you and sperma and spreading seeds and shit like that, David, you really need to get your fucking head checked, man. You really do. And that's coming from somebody who has mental health issues too, okay? You need to go get your fucking head checked, buddy. You can't do this anymore, dude. Um, <clears throat> give me a second. I'm, I got another email. Hang on, guys. The internet works so fast, man. Stand by, guys. Um, I've been sending out emails to certain people. David, you think I don't do shit. You don't think I follow up with everything that I say I'm going to do, dude. But I do. I do, David. I follow up with everything that I say I'm going to do with regards to your fucking bullshit, dude. And you don't know what I'm doing, dude. 
You don't know what kind of fucking leads I have. You don't know who I'm talking to. You don't know what kind of information I have. You don't know what paperwork I have on you. You don't, David. You don't. And, you, and what the cool thing about this is, is there's people from all over the world, David, that, that are watching this, that are watching this from, from across the ocean, man, from the UK, David, from Europe, from Australia, all over the place, man. Not so many, I mean, we haven't found many people from Japan, but all walks of life, David, are watching this. And it's, it's you they're watching, David. The world's watching you and we're laughing at you. Everybody's laughing at you. Because you really legit think that you're this apostle or prophet. And, dude, you can't even fix your hairline, man. You couldn't, you couldn't fix Michelle's shoulder that was hurt for six months. So you couldn't bring your, da your dead dad back like you claim you can bring dead people back to life. Everything that you've... that you said you can do is all a lie. It's all a lie. Everything you've done. Um, and that's why this group is here, David, is because this group, this group has, is, no, is, is picking apart your your cult scam and what you're doing to people. And there's there's a lot of educated people here who have the drive and the passion to put in their uh, put in their knowledge to make sure that you're stopped, man. We're going to stop you, David. We're going to stop you. And it might it not it might not be this year, it might not be next year, David, but it's you're gonna be stopped eventually man it's just a matter of time you can't you, your scam is is it's out in the open now man it's out in the open there's too many people that know about it there's still too many people that are filing fraud reports against you which is totally fucking radical um i'll be doing mine this week too as well and there's nothing you can do to stop that david there's nothing you can do to stop taxpaying citizens from filing the fraud reports against you because you are committing fraud. We know that. We know that. We pulled your tax returns. We've had people look at your 990s. Professionals. Professionals, David. Something that you're not. Something that you couldn't even find. You couldn't even find somebody to do your taxes on is a professional. <laughs> you did, but it wasn't the right professional, man. And sorry I haven't been on the last few days, guys. I've been busy with the business and everything, so. <clears throat> Let's see. Eleven fifteen asked Mara that Joseph doesn't have a lot of self respect, yeah. It and that's something else I try to bring up and remind people of is Man, we got we gotta we can't really like shame these people and you're probably right. Joseph probably doesn't have a lot of self respect, you know, but we can't hold that against the guy. You know, you take David out of the equation, Joseph's probably a pretty fucking stand up guy, dude. He's probably the type of guy you probably wanna have a beer with or something, you know. Just my opinion. But I, that's just what I think, man. Joseph was probably the type of guy you could kick back, have a barbecue with and have a beer with and have a good conversation with. Uh, probably a really intelligent conversation with at that, you know. CM Cakes, the one and only true statement out of David E. Taylor's mouth. All the persecution brought against me has caused me to grow tremendously. True that. <laughs> David, looks like you put on a few belt sizes since we saw you last time, buddy. He's up on the fucking Krispy Kreme donuts, all right, man. I think of Jim Jones every time straight up demon. Yeah, when David does like the quickly thing. That's a Jim Jones book, guys. That's out of Jim Jones' playbook. Quickly, quickly, quickly. David does that. That's a Jim Jones playbook tactic, okay? That's part of the... It's like... That repetitive... 
constant like hypnosis quickly 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 you know doesn't work David let's see Apostle of the Residential Center St. Louis man you always leave the best comments man so Apostle of the Residential Center St. Louis he's been in logistics for quite a few years and his knowledge been very helpful here just really putting all David's shit to to rest about how you know how much it's going to cost David to move all this shit around it's ridiculous David you're not going to do it well, anonymous legion why is David incessantly begging for money when, when he just purchased a jet and Roy's Royce because Roy wants his Royce back <laughs> yeah probably Back in a jiffy, quickly, quickly, now, now. This is a tactic called pressure, and it's disgusting because it's tar targeting vulnerable people and people with poor mental health. Disgusting, David. Yeah, that's... David scams mentally ill people. Let's put that on the table again real quick. David scams mentally ill people. That is his prerogative. That is his MO. It is easier for him to scam mentally ill people. Um... I do have proof of this, but I've been, I can't say anything. Can't say anything, man. And it, it sucks. It sucks. Joseph is propping up this fake movie. He's involved in these fake readings without verification on anything. Guys, I'm a millionaire. I truly am. Believe me, is that enough for you to believe in? Dirty Glove Audits, Jeff Morton. 90 million. Boy, if you don't get the fuck out of here. Yeah, David talking about how he's like got 90 million followers and shit. David, I was, I actually did a count on your following. Your last shit show, I think, okay, at one, like Facebook had like 100 and something. Um, Zoom is where you had most of the people, but even then, most of the people on Zoom are fake. You have like maybe half of the people on Zoom are bots or you know, some kind of software program to make it look like you have more people in there than you really do. Most of them are us. Most of the people on YouTube are most likely us or other people just watching your shit show live because, David, you can't pay for comedy. Which You can't pay for the kind of comedy you give us, man. You can't, dude. This is like... It's like improv comedy live, dude. It really is. That's the best way to put it, David. And for you to come out and give us more fucking ammunition dude to just put you on blast is golden dude uh, we, we're, we're telling you not to do it dude and you keep fucking doing it and i don't know why because dude you're not david your shit shows man they're they're exactly that dude they're shit shows man they're they're you coming out incessantly begging for money um Dwayne buckley thanks for being here man i see your new subscriber um I will enjoy watching all your channel content. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Um, the earlier videos, guys, if anybody wants to watch them, that's where most of my phone calls are at, was my earlier videos. So if you guys want more phone calls, go go back to the very beginning of my channel. That's where I had a lot of phone calls. Um, the phone calls are a few in between right now, but I know you guys like those, so I'll try to see what I can do with them. New subscriber, um, Power Code 46 Thanks, man. And Pasa Lou one. Thanks, man. Appreciate that. Shout out to Jam and my Colt Watch, Apostle the Residential Center St. Louis. To be smooth. Thanks for being here, man. Um, I bet the one unlike was David. Yes, usually David comes in and unlikes my videos or one of his Colt concubines, or it's gonna be Michelle or Makita or some shit like that. Okay, so do you like my wiener? Why wouldn't you just hire a basketball or football stadium? You can claim it back on tax and you don't need a, to cart it around with you. Just have a few higher trucks to move the kitchen equipment and PA. That's all you need. You already have parking, power seats, toilet showers, etc. taken care of. This guy is just a moron. Yeah, he is a moron. Okay, and do you like my wiener? He has a picture of his wiener dog, okay? So just so anybody's not thinking it's derogatory, he's got a picture of his dachshund, which is cool. I like dogs since they're cool dogs. Right on, man. I like your dog. <laughs> He's cool looking. Marilyn, she's a she's a dachshund mixed breed. She's a dachshund terrier mix. 
let's see. What was I talking about? Oh, mental health. Yes, David scans mentally ill people. Okay, guys. That's one thing he does. That's his best MO. That's the only way he knows how to scam people. Um, David himself, I believe, has some kind of mental illness. That's my opinion only, guys. But given what I've seen, and I'm pretty sure we can all agree here, that David needs to have some kind of psychiatric evaluation as soon as fucking possible. Like, he probably should have had one, like, 20 fucking years ago. New subscriber, Kyle. Thanks, man. Appreciate you being here, buddy. Islam Jan Island Gem. This is what false prophets do. They make people think they're special. The special one that can fix everything or they can... Or the only one pure enough to be a spokesperson for people before God. The word says... The word says that God has no favorites. When we ask in Jesus' name, we'll receive and the church functions as a body. Yeah, you guys read your Bible. You don't need David. You don't need David. Um, the church itself is just a place of worship. That's it. You, The church is just... It's an establishment. It's a building that's it it's a physical structure where religion is practiced your house can be a church that's a physical structure right you can read your bible at home your house can become your church you don't have to go to church to be in church right you don't absolutely need a pastor to teach you how to read the bible you can open up your bible and read it and live live by those basic instructions before leaving earth Nobody should have any problems, right? The Bible is a book of morals, guys. It's an, it's an instruction book. Best way... Of, I, I'm not religious. That's just the way I put it. Because how from what I've learned from all of you guys, it is. It's an instruction book, look, guys. It's how to be a good person before you die, man. Be a good person, guys. That's all you gotta do. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be making some calls probably here to Jesse Duplantis at some point today. I just don't know when yet because I have a number. So I'm really, really tempted to start giving those guys because of that message that Israel number one sent me about the reason the church is going down is because people aren't donating enough. No, the people aren't donating to the church because one, people are fucking broke, all right? People are recovering from a, a worldwide pandemic where hundreds of millions died really and you think their people are going to donate to the church last place they're going to donate to the church should have been the one to come and fix all this shit right because they're the ones with all the power and the glory and the faith yeah I mean we're not four or five hundred years ago where church was everything guys I was just watching like, I've been watching a lot of historical documentaries about just church, life in the early days. Like, you know, we're talking Tudor England and shit like that, okay? Church was everything back then, guys. Church was three fucking times a day, four times a day. I was just watching about Queen Mary. She went to church four times a fucking day and then prayed in between in, in private. So she went breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then probably had an evening mass. And then prayed. What were they, what were they saying? several hours in between each time she went to mass you know so think of think of going think of religion like that man think of when you didn't have social media you didn't have youtube facebook you didn't have tv screens these people didn't church was everything back then guys that was their life the plague was what they believed God's wrath on the church for the whoring around, the drinking, the corruption, because the church was corrupt. The church is corrupt, guys. I hate to tell you. And I, I don't like to I don't like to say things like that on my channel, but it is, man. It is. It's like you can donate money to the church and then once it gets there, you, they don't have to tell you anything about it. You know? Um, I recommend everybody watch the movie Spotlight because that's a really good 
movie about the church. It's a true story. Mark Ruffalo, Michael Keaton. Um, who else plays it? It's a, it's a really good lineup in that movie. But you guys need to watch it. And it's it's about the Catholic Church specifically. And um, I don't want to tell you what it's about because everybody should watch it and have an open mind about it and make your own judgment. Um, but it's really well written. It took me a while to watch it, but once I got into it, it's a movie I could sit down and watch every day pretty much. Um, so being back to the church, you guys, you got all not religious, and I feel like I'm off topic even talking about this. But just remember, guys, the church is at home. Church is at home, guys. David does. You don't need David. You don't need David to, to teach you how to read the Bible. You don't need him how to. Anything, for that matter. So anybody that's watching this, that is caught up in this cult, man, and it is a cult, guys. It is a cult, and I know you don't want to hear that. All right, I know you don't want to hear it, but it is. Anybody who's with David, you David is a full-blown cult leader. Again, guys, David, you... This is what I'm doing here, guys, is shit pertaining to David's shit. So stand by. Keep following the fraud reports, guys. Um, I'll post them in the in the chat link when these. I'll post the links. Um, don't give David any money. And we gotta we gotta keep making people aware of David's, of David's scam. So, that's what we gotta do. Uh, the more we do that, the less people can scam, that can get scammed by David. Think of this as, preventive maintenance for the future. Think of if you have kids. I have nieces and nephews, you know. And they're, I look at them and I think what they have in store for them if we don't do shit. If I don't do shit. So. We got to keep pushing on these guys. I'm not going to let David get away with this. I don't think anybody else should too as long as you're paying taxes. Um. I think everybody should be filing fraud reports against this sack of shit. It's taking your money, man. When you pay federal taxes, and David does it, and he runs a scam through the IRS, and he takes off social services, things like that, that we're paying towards footing the bill for. David, meanwhile, is running under the radar, funneling millions, millions, millions. He's not the only one. He's not the only one. Jesse Duplantis, Kenneth Copeland, Joel Olstein. You guys are on my list, too, man. Don't even worry about it. I think I have a couple shirts up for you guys, too. Don't even worry, man. I'm going to have some shirts made up for, for Joel Osteen. I got. I think I already have it in my mind, too, what I want. So, you guys stay safe, man. This is going to be kind of a short video. Um, I should be back in the studio by Sunday or Monday. Like I said, I'm taking care of some business in town. So, again, you guys stay safe, man. Thanks for being here. Hit that like and subscribe. Uh, you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, don't hesitate to leave them in the, in the section below, man. Um, I still am. David, don't think that I don't put in work on you when I'm not in the studio, okay? Just because I don't do live streams and shit like that or you don't see my face, 
Don't think for one second that I'm taking it easy on you, dude, okay? Because I'm not, man.